Hello and welcome to another Tech Monkey cast uh, for the Games Monkey channel of Forged Alliance. I was about to play a game and record myself playing that, however there were no decent servers around. I didn't fancy hosting one and waiting a week for somebody to join. Uh, and also didn't fancy playing Thermopile and Bloody Gap of Rohan again. So, I'm going to be casting a 2v2 that I saw uh, somebody asking to be recorded and the forums and this is going to be a 2v2 on high noon featuring in team one over on the right hand side uh, have Robert C going Seraphim and the table master who I believe is speed 2 and speed 2 is uh, also going Seraphim. Uh, down in Team 2 we have De Ithilis, who I'm guessing his teammate could be Tokito maybe, uh, who is going Aeon. And in white there we have Faco also going Seraphim, so three Seraphim. Uh, let's see how the game goes on. Apparently it's full of action according to the forums that I saw it on. Uh, let's get it going. You're going to be speaking another language so we can't join in on the chat unless you can... I'm guessing that's French, but it doesn't look it. Je looks French. Anyway, down to business. Everybody's getting off the usual way. Apart from Speed 2 who doesn't do anything normal and starts off with a power. Followed by an air factory. And everyone else has their first land. And getting some power afterwards. First land power seems to be the way forward. Uh, Robert's got a... Um, land factory queued up. He's got his, um, an air factory sorry, queued up. Once he's got a bit more power spam out. You may also notice that my cast should look a little bit nicer as I've finally got a new monitor so I'm able to record in 1080p. Hurrah! Um, also have a new microphone I think since the last time I did a cast so we'll have to see what's going on. This map I've not actually... Uh, well, sorry you'll have to let me know if the uh, game sounds okay. I see some flares going up. Wanting to move around to that top island. It seems like this map's got a good mix of land, water, and air. Um, don't think that's particularly deep water. Doesn't seem to be huge amounts of reclaim from tree back. Um, bear with me one second. And that should be a little bit better. I'm just turning off my push to talk because it does get annoying because it's my middle mouse button and it doesn't work when I'm trying to scroll. So we have an early bomber out for speed as you would expect with his early air factory. Uh, causing a little bit of harassment. harassment. Uh, two kills so far. Going for a third on that engineer. Can't get it but all the time he's trying to get it and... Ithilis is running around to avoid it. He's also not getting any use out of that engineer. He's not getting those mexes at the back. He's still delaying that expansion one way or another. Bomber has gone on a wide arc now trying to come around and see if he can pick off that engineer who's still doing little lazy circles waiting for the mobile AA to come in and save him. Bomb away. Does not get the engineer. And we see some... Tech one going out like tanks and land scouts. I don't know why that doesn't show the unit name. That one shows Zui Zui Engineer, but these have no names. They are secret secret units. And that bomber, yes it did finally pick off that engineer. So excellent bomber micro there from speed. Great game so far, but you would expect no less from the master himself. I don't think he's particularly the highest ranked player. 2100 is an exceptionally high rank, but uh, he does seem to be uh, 
outplaying everybody whenever you watch him these days. Uh, and he's got two more bombers out here as he's now trying to get into the naval game. Any more naval? No. Maybe this engineer is going out to start the naval game or maybe just going across the water to catch those two mexies over on the far island. Yeah, so it's only speed at the moment who's now stopped production on his air factory. Whether that engineer was killed does look like it could have been. There is a dead body laying in the water there. And Faco is moving forward with his com. He's making a uh, pushover for Robert. And we're going to see those Zooey's going around the top. Maybe a two-pronged attack here by Faco. Faco, I keep saying Faco. It could be Faco. I'm going to go with Faco. And these bombers still causing harassment. One kill, no kills, six kills. That is the best investment in bomber I've ever seen, I think, in early bombers. So you can see Faco is trying to get those two mexes, but Robert has two zooies that are going to try and stop him getting anywhere near it. And we have... Speed now making his own crossing of the water with... The Ithilis, Ithilis, we'll just call him, coming back the other way. There's something very wrong with these names for Ithilis. He's just called DD down there in the bottom left, if you look. Doesn't show his name at all. Um, and a severe push now by Faco. Uh, plenty of health left. Speed's across the water. They're pinging him, so they know he's there. It looks like Ithilis may have had a change of heart and not be crossing the water himself. Uh, naval factory is now online and Robert doesn't have a great deal to deal with Faco's commander but he does have his own commander there so should be able to handle it but at the same time as predicted those zoos have snuck around the back and are slowly hammering the base from a distance Robert's got a few zoos of his own they're gonna trade blow for blows and I don't think he's in too much danger but some harassment caused a couple of mexes down Speed 2, on the other hand, is just going for a gentle meander up the beach. Uh, not really causing much harm himself. And Faker is now thinking twice about this push on Robert as he's uh, going to get beaten back into the water by all those zooies uh, and Robert's ACU. I'm guessing, yeah, I was going to say, I'm guessing Ithilis is getting an upgrade on his com. Let's see what that is. Is it T2 or is it gun? Da, da, da. Tension is killing me. He's gone for gun, calm. Um, so he's obviously going to make a pretty uh, genuine push now towards Speed's base. Speed himself has gone into the water. I thought he may be doing an upgrade, but he's just sat there now, masking in the cool waters after his warm stroll up the beach. And Robert has successfully pushed Faco back off his base. Team 2 now seem to have air control, I would say. Well, there's not much in it. Four intercepts, I think, for each team. Three, four. Two, three, four. But uh, Team 2 are going to lose their interceptors. Loads and loads of scout planes for some reason. I don't know if that's a misclick. I don't know why you would build so many scouts. And... Robert really should have carried on following Faco into the water there and tried to get some uh, um, whatever they're called, water missiles <laughs> torpedo launchers that's the word I'm looking for into the water and yes, Ithilis was trying to get a naval factory online but it's been successfully denied by the frigate of the Mighty Speed 2 and Robert has a couple of these on um, Zooey's around the back causing harassment and he has caught Faco sleeping as he has nothing to do with it but Faco may be about to return the favour by sneaking around the back of Robert's base with his ACU uh, two mechs is down there at least one or two of them had to be T2 I would imagine and we have 
Yes, Ethyl is right in the middle of Speed 2's base now. Where is Speed 2's ACU? Why can I not see him? Speed 2 does have some point defense, but a couple of overcharges will get rid of that. Ah, there's Speed 2's ACU. He's in Faco's base. Oh, and Robert, I think, just gifted Speed some zooies to help him uh, take Faco's base out, I would say. Ethylis is laying waste now to Speed's base, so Speed is going to need to take over Faco's base or nothing will uh, go well for Team One again. Taking out all his power, he's going to start working on the mass after the power and then that's Speed 2 ruined unless something changes. Faco does not have a lot of defense in his base, so isn't going to be able to do a great deal about this. And his ACU is busy getting an upgrade around the top of Robert's base, so isn't going to come back and save the day either. Meanwhile, Ethylis continues to just devastate that base, and yeah, there's no health worries. There is still the naval factory, could maybe get something out of there, but I don't think Speed's going to have the income. He's got to be stalling on pretty much everything. There's still... Uh, he's about to start major power stalling, so yeah, no building of anything. Uh, no great surprise when you've got no units, but then there are some Tech 1 tanks that are coming in to clean up those engineers. But Speed 2 is now romping all through... Faco's base, so it looks like it's going to be a straight base swap. Uh, and Robert's actually sending down a pretty decent swarm of Zooies to try and uh, stop Ithilis's ACU from advancing too much further. He's going to have to do some good micro with those, micro with those uh, Zooies, though. otherwise it's going to be uh, just overcharges to the face. Oh, and he's having to come back now because Faco has emerged from the water and he's now setting about Robert's base. Again, ACU's trading blows. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be much in it, to be fair. Yes, it's going to be another fail for Faco, I think. Another failed attempt. I don't know what upgrade he was getting that he didn't just appear and start building turrets would make no sense. What did he go for? Oh, he was getting an upgrade, but he must have cancelled it. Didn't seem to have anything, unless I'm looking at that wrong. So, must have cancelled his upgrade when Speed, I'm guessing, started dip laying waste to his base. And Speed now building his own proxy base over on that side. Oof! Apologies for that. Faker was defeated by the mighty Robert C. I'm guessing it was ACU and Zooies that finally did him in. The Zooies also giving uh, Ithilis a bit of a hard time down the south end of Team 1's base. Um, but it's not looking good for Team 1 anymore. Speed now has grabbed the land over here. He's reclaiming and building more factories, getting some engineers out to reclaim that mass and build those mixes and then it's going to be a whole world of pain for Ethylis I think. It does have T2 air but I don't think T2 air is what he needs right now unless he can. I suppose he could get a few gunships out and he might be okay but Team 1 have air control still. They seem to have uh, all the interceptors. Um, well, um, yeah sorry it's, no, it's not quite as clear cut in fact Team 2, Team 2, it's not really a team anymore, it's kind of just Ithilis on his own, but Robert romping ahead with mass lead up here, because he's the only one whose base hasn't been severely molested in the last five minutes. Uh, must be uh, having a few power issues as he's trying to get his power back online, following the uh, attack of the late great Faco. And you can see how quickly Speed 2 is reclaiming, capturing and taking over this base uh, and sooner or later it will be him in the lead, well sooner rather than later he's now got a mass lead over everybody else. Oh, that may be just down to reclaim as he 
keeps fluctuating. But uh, if I had to make a prediction at this stage of the game, my prediction would be it's not going to end well for Ithilis. Get a few more zooies to the face. Meanwhile, what's the speed up to over here? An air factory seems a bit of an odd choice, but I suppose he could be worried about the T2 air factory that uh, Ethelis has online. He is building some combat fighters, but not going to be a lot of use, I don't think, unless. Uh, I don't see a lot of air from Team 1, so why you would be building combat fighters, I'd be getting a lot of ground units out. It does have a couple of T2 point defence in there, so that'll stop uh, speed from just walking into the base at least. Speed 2, very unusually just sat still doing absolutely nothing with his ACU at the moment. And there's got to be some reclaim in there, but you can just see, yeah, I was going to say that's just dropped down, but his uh, mass income now is beginning a top out while Athilis is only on 21 and his ACU is under attack by Robert who needs to get out there he needs to be running away, 2000 health is no point to be getting brave and trying to fight the good fight I think it's over for Robert does not look good he's going to become a one on one and he's going in close to see if he can get the uh, sympathy kill didn't work, didn't work, so it's yes, now I'm one on one. Ah, and now we see problems. Team 2, or oh, Ithilis, has air control and now has the gunships out as well, which could cause some real problems for speed if he's not careful. It'll certainly stop him expanding too easily. Oh, and Mercy's coming out now as well, maybe going for a little snipe. Is that another Mercy building? Nope, let's take two engines. <laughs> yeah. See, I watch other casters play this game and they look at the factory and they go, oh, yes, look, he's building another Zooey or Mercy or a Corsair. And I'm like, How the hell do you know? It's a puddle of mud. It's a puddle of silvery mud with no way of knowing what it is. God, this game looks nice in 1080p. Uh, We'll see if we can get a 1080p commander explosion when uh, whoever loses go down here. It's now not as clear who's going to win or lose as it seemed a few moments ago as Ithilis now has his main base but also has all this space over here to play with. Uh, I'm not sure what Speed 2 is planning on doing to stop him. Getting more power online for now. Um, must be planning on an air upgrade or be doing an air upgrade. No, he's building some kind of flying machine. Can you tell what it is yet? It looks it looks like a plane. Some kind of plane. It looks like a transport, is it? Is it is it is it could it be No, no, that's an intercepted Aaron. Well done. Uh yes. Yes. Right, so now that we have established that I can't tell my interceptors from my transports, or my ass from my elbow, let's continue with the casting. So, yeah, Robert's getting some land, f uh, sorry, Phyllis is getting some land factories up so he can get pumping engineers out around these bases, pick up all that lovely, there's a ton, ton of mass uh, around these bases to be collected. There's also all these mass extractors, so he could very well be... Uh, destroying speed in the eco phase but speed now is getting out the lovely mobile missile launchers and he's going to go to town on Ithilis' main base he has uh, some tech 2 anti-air and tech 2 uh, little shivers, assault bots to back him up so uh, Ithilis can't come in with those gunships and just attack as he will get taken out by those T2 mobile anti airs. Um, he needs to come up with something to stop these mobile missile launchers, otherwise, slowly but surely, he's just going to lose his base. He has got TMD up, but if you just keep spamming the mobile missile launchers, you will overwhelm that eventually. As certainly you do with Cybran. 
mobile missile launchers, which are my favourite unit in the entire game. Um, I see gunships moving out, but I'm guessing they're going to come round and take out these cheeky little mass extractors. I can actually tell them when I zoomed out, they could be orange, they could be red, but they're red, I think, speed 2 must have captured captured those earlier on when I wasn't watching that sneaky little speedy monster. And those gunships have actually just sat there and are going nowhere. So we're hitting a bit of a lull in the game, I'm going to speed it up just a touch, until we get some more action going. If Thillis is making a brave move, he has done some upgrades on his common and now has 1500 health, but still a brave move, and just walking straight in towards Speed 2's base. Which could be brave, it could be stupid, it definitely has the gun upgrade on that com, you can tell by the rate of fire coming out of it. Um, gunships are cleaning up these units down here, they've taken out the T2 and the air. And those mobile missile launchers now have been, you can see Speed 2's firing them now uh, at the same time. So that hopefully to overwhelm that uh, TMD, I would guess. I do love how the bullets do that. How the missiles just fly around in circles and do a bit of a loop the loop before finally deciding what target they're going to go for. And if the has thought better of walking into the base and decided he's going to just go hide in the water and you can see an airdrop coming for speed 2 around the top here trying to drop off some engineers claim a few more of these mass extractors but if is going to have none of that none of that whatsoever and he's going to send his good ships in to deal with the engineers and take out the mass extractors i would imagine speed 2 drops off two more engineers real quick before that um plane for that T2 combat fighter, that's the word I'm looking for. Catches up with him. Catches up with that. <coughs> Excuse me there. Um, before that T2 interceptor catches up uh, with his transport. And you see a bit of a push now from Athilis with Tech 1 units, which I don't think will get him too far considering the T2 tanks and ACU up there. Uh, he does have one T2 tank of his own, and they're all running away, run away, run away. So, no uh, great surprise there. I think that was just being overly brave, overly stupid. Uh, Speed 2 throwing down a hasty land factory and radar. He did have, I was going to say, he did have another factory queued up, but he's thought better of it, but he hasn't. He is building it. I'm going to guess that the unit is producing in here is anti-air or at least that's what I'd be trying to produce but nothing's gonna get built because of those gunships could do with some anti-air presence over there now these gunships are gonna start causing real problems if he doesn't deal with them certainly gonna stop any chance of an expansion that's what I like about Speed 2 if that was me I'd be running panicking giving up the ghost assuming they were dead abandoning my units, but no, Speed 2 uh, has the time to casually go collect some mass extractors and take over, why not? And he's filling another transport full of engineers here, is he going to try the same thing again? He's going to be spotted by these two tanks, I would say... No, he's sneaking around quite nicely. I wonder if he knows those two tanks are there, I'm guessing he does. Yeah, he knows those two tanks are there, so he's gone wide and avoided them on purpose. He's going to try and get a drop on that little island. Uh, and these gunships doing a cracking job of cleaning up all of Speed 2's units. Although he does have another land factory down here at the front, but it's not doing anything. Neither is that engineer. I think his attention must be elsewhere. Uh, and... Ithilis coming in for another attack on Speed 2's base. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cough, it would seem. And I'm back from choking. All is well. Um, Speed 2 now making a push across the water with some 
T2 hover tanks and AA to combat those gunships. Ithilis making a bit of a play for Speed 2's base now. Speed 2 doesn't look like he's happy with that. Um, Speed 2's ACU is much stronger. You can see 17,500 versus, well, down to 9,000, 9, but did have 14,000 originally. Uh, Speed 2 has the gun upgrades. Oof. Um, just in water and time, I would say, for Ithilis. And Speed 2 meandering back to his base again. So, some of these players, these high level players like Speed 2 and Ithilis and those sort, they're so good at managing different groups of units in different areas, different places, so many all at one time and I just don't have it in me, I cannot do it. And the minute my focus is on one group of units over here fighting, for example, over in the base, that's it. I just can't watch the other side of the map and the next time I look over my entire force has been destroyed. Whereas Speed is busy upgrading and defending his base and has now almost captured the right hand side. Um, seems to have done it without me even noticing. I'm see, I'm casting. I'm not even playing him yet. My, I completely missed the fact that he's got this proxy base set up. I wonder if it must have been that single engineer that walked down from the base he built previously up here. This one, I saw an engineer walk down and capture a mass extractor, but he must have now started a whole uh, new colony from that. And these T2 tanks are just casually walking over. They're going to take out the economy over on that side, it would look like. Uh, if this looks like he's thinking of some... Ah, uh, the gunships are going for the engineers, I think. Picking them off, stopping the expansions. Speed 2 has noticed this expansion up at the top and is sending in an engineer in to do something about it. It would have been better than those two tanks in first. And speed now going in to deal with all these tanks and mobile missile launches. Not sure how much of that he can see due to the uh, stealth generator. And each time he moves forward, if the list comes back out of the water and has a little cheeky, sneaky, peaky, battery smacky, base raping bastard. Uh, forgive me. Uh, <laughs> It's getting late, it's getting late, and I'm uh, quite tired. I've done quite a few game casts today, which you'll be seeing uploaded over the next week or so. Um, back to the action. Um, at the moment, it just seems that Athelis is happy to hide out at the back there, but he's only got 4,000 energy, so I can't see that being a, a long term solution sooner or later. Speed 2 will upgrade to T2A and get some uh, torpedo bombers out, I'd imagine. In fact, he now looks like he's... what's that? A sonar. Right, so he's now keeping an eye. It looks like he's uh, moving in for the kill. Had enough of jousting backwards and forwards with him. Not sure, quite sure how he's going to pull it off. I can't just build a torpedo launcher as Ithilis will just move out of range again. Ithilis making some odd decisions down here with Tech 1 bombers. I'm not sure what his theory is behind that. And now we have the ACU Benny Hill chase. Uh, if I had any editing skills, I would now put the Benny Hill music over the top of that. Unfortunately, I don't, so. Uh, you'll just have to play it in your own head. Uh, Speed 2 now following up his uh, ACU with some tanks. Um, mobile AA to keep those pesky gunships away. Silas needs to be careful here because he's got... No I wonder if Speed 2's... I don't actually know if there is a torpedo upgrade for the uh, Seraphim Commander. And he's getting himself a bit stuck here. Oh, and here come the, I told you, there we go. T2 upgrade, in come the torpedo bombers. This could all be it. Let's get a 1080p 
ACU death. Boom! Down we go. My computer does. Computer does not like to seem to like the uh, 1080p ACU death. There was a severe amount of lag. Just as I tried to capture that, um, well played to uh, speed two as usual. Um, his actions per minute just astound me. His tactical decisions seem second to none. I know he's put a couple of cheesy snipe videos, but I still think they're valid tactics, and I think he's an all-round great player. That's it for me for this evening. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you'd like to see more of, less of, what I can do to improve this video, if anything. And I will see you on the flip side. Take care.